Hello and welcome to Runkle of the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle, I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. Today I want to do a review for this thing. It's the Axel X-Core Pro electronic hearing protection. It's designed for shooting, but it'll work just fine for other loud noises, especially places where there's loud impulse noise. Hearing protection, of course, is really important and often neglected. There's a lot of people in the shooting community who, because they neglected their hearing protection, have problems hearing or are dealing with tinnitus, and you don't want that. As a lawyer, my hearing is really important. I need to be able to hear what's going on in a courtroom, so I take this seriously. That said, uh, before we get into the meat of things, I have to go through the financial disclosures because this is a review video. So here we go. I am not getting paid by Axel or anyone else to make this video. I don't have a referral or discount code to get a cut of sales or anything like that. And they did not send me a free copy or a free unit. I paid full price for this. So financial disclosure. I've got no financial connection to this. That said, the financial aspect is the main drawback for this thing. On their webpage, they say that this is 300 bucks at regular price. They're currently running a sale. I don't know how long they, how often they do those, but, um, and I don't know if they'll be still running it when you watch this video, but 300 bucks is a fair chunk of change for that or something like it. You might be able to go to an audiologist and have custom fitted hearing protection made. I did that once and it was great for protecting my hearing, but I did eventually lose one of the ears and it was going to be expensive to replace. It does have downsides, which is that hearing protection is not electronic hearing protection. It's just hearing protection. What's the advantage of the electronic hearing protection? Well, it's, and this will be familiar to a lot of you who are shooters, but if you're not, um, it means that there's a microphone that allows for pass through of the audio. It'll play the sounds around you into your ear, but it'll cut out before loud noises so that you don't suffer hearing damage. Now, I would love to be able to tell you that these guys invented the concept, but they totally didn't. Um, they have just made a product that uses it. There are other products on the market that have that, such as these Walker's razors. This is what I used to use. And full financial disclosure, I did get these for free. So, okay. Now, the, you know, the pass-through is great. It allows you to have conversations, which is important. I actually think that these are a very, very good feature. You can get cheap hearing protection that doesn't have the pass-through, but being able to hear what's going around on around you is kind of essential. If you're doing competition shooting, what, you know, what are the signals? When they say go, you want to hear go. Like you want to, you want to start shooting. If you are doing, if you're hunting, you want to be able to hear if there's animals moving around because maybe it's the deer you're after. Maybe it's the bear that's after you. Whatever it is, you want to hear it. Um, all of those are good things. So I really like, I don't want to go back to sort of using dumb hearing protection. The audio pass-through is important. But I actually think this thing does a really good job at it. Let's talk about what you get in the package first. So you get this little foam carrying case. Um, that's convenient, but it's not really a selling feature. And one of the things you'll get here is this little bit here. Now this is a combination carrying case and charging case. If you've got AirPods or something similar, you'll be familiar with the concept. And inside you've got your hearing protection, which obviously goes in your ears. It's got little foam pads that provide sort of good hearing protection. And you can also get, they give you a bunch of little replacement or alternate um, sizes. So if you've got bigger ear canals or smaller ear canals, you can swap in for whatever gets you a good solid fit, but is also comfortable. They have two different options. You've got your foam and your silicon. The silicon is more comfortable. It also provides less hearing protection. So if you're using this for shooting or anything like that, use the foam. The silicon's in there, but use the foam. The other thing you get is a charging cable. 
Now, if you lose this, it's not a proprietary charging cable, it's USB-C. I think that's a great feature because if you lose this, and I lose charging cables all the time, you can just buy another one at a gas station. You don't have to, like, figure out something. Or the, sometimes I've had products that are just completely useless because I've lost the charging cable. Attention deficit. I lose things sometimes. It's not fantastic. All right, so what features does this have? Well, as I mentioned, it's got the audio pass-through, so you can hear things around you. The audio pass-through on this is really good, and I really like it. Uh, one of the features that it has that I like is that each ear is separate. And why that's important is because some other designs will take the audio from every mic and mix it into a single signal. And so what that means is that your left ear and your right ear are hearing exactly the same things. Now, that's not how hearing normally works. Normally, your brain uses the fact that you will get different amounts of sound to different ears to help you position those sounds in space. So as an example, if you've got somebody talking to you and they're on your left side, even though they might not be in your field of view, you can immediately tell, oh, this person's on the left and you can look that way. Now, if those signals are blended into one signal, you're not going to get that. So this, I found, was very easy to pick out, you know, oh, this sound is coming from this way, or this sound is coming from that way. It's fantastic for that. I also found that I got a lot less wind noise out of these. Now, I, I'm comparing it again to the Walker Razors. Now, this might not actually be anything other than specific to me. I can't promise that you're going to have the same benefit, and I'm going to explain why. So these things have the little microphones on them on the side, and when you wear them, you can see sort of the mics are out here, kind of exposed to the wind. Now, the comparison on that is that if I'm wearing them, I've got a lot of hair. And I think the hair might be doing something to shield them from the wind. So you might, your mileage may vary on that. But I found them in my personal subjective experience to be quite good on not just sounding like wind noises. All of this, of course, is great if you're out hunting. I haven't been able to test them hunting yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. And there's one other thing that really makes me think that they'll be fantastic for that, which is that the audio pickup actually, at times, and not in every way and not in every circumstance, but at times it feels like an enhancement. It actually kind of feels like super hearing because I was putting them on in the plane and suddenly I could make out conversations from people who were like three rows back. Now, that's not always the best thing. The, I can tell you the people three rows back on the plane are not talking about anything super interesting. But it might be fantastic if you're out hunting and you really need to hear that, you know, that rustling sound in those bushes. So looking forward to trying it in that context. Um, you won't always hear everything fantastically. And the reason why is that it will cut out, as mentioned, if it hears loud noises. And you might be surprised at what counts as a loud noise. Somebody shutting their car door may cause it to cut out for that quarter second that's uh, sort of critical. And then you can be like, oh, right, that's what that's surprisingly loud, even though it's something you're used to. Okay, so as I said, I really like the sound quality on these things. Now, the Axel X Core Pro is differentiated from their lesser model, the Axel X Core because it's got Bluetooth, which means you can listen to audio on it. I thought this was really nice when I was using this in the first place I tested this, which was, as mentioned, on an airplane. Airplanes are noisy, and if you want to sleep, hearing protection is fantastic for that. But if you don't want to sleep and you just want to listen to music, it was really nice to be able to listen to music without all of the airline noise. And then I could turn on or off the audio pass-through as I needed, which was typically when they're coming by with the drinks carts going, hey, would you like a snack? Would you like a drink? I can turn that on. I can hear them. I can have the conversation. I can turn it off and now be in my own little world. But I didn't just test these on airplanes. I also tested them out at the range because that is the most critical thing. So I brought a bunch of guns to the range. Um, 
you know, my 270, my 6.5 by 284 Lapua, 45 Long Colt, 9 mil, 22. 22 is not super loud, but okay. Um, the guy in the bay next to me was shooting a whole lot of 12 gauge, which is normally pretty loud. I found this to be perfectly fine. I was very comfortable with it. At the end of the shooting day, I didn't have any pain. I didn't have any ringing. I didn't have any indication that the hearing protection wasn't working just fine. So worked great at the range. I really was impressed. The other situation that um, they might be useful in that is not really a common thought is actually the self-defense situation. And I don't think self-defense... Um, it's reasonable not to put hearing protection at the top of your list for self-defense situations because, quite frankly, you got other things to worry about. And if somebody's broken into your house with a fire axe and later you suffer some hearing damage, you've probably done okay in that scenario. But if that is on your list of things you worry about, if you do think, hey, I want some hearing protection and maybe I might be less inclined to flinch if I've got hearing protection, that kind of thing. These aren't a terrible choice. Um, I think they're actually a pretty good choice because as mentioned, the hearing that you get through them is pretty good. Um, I can hear things just fine with this. The other thing is because of the Bluetooth, you could connect it up to your phone and be listening to the 911 operator. I don't think, I haven't been able to confirm one way or the other, but I don't think that it actually has a microphone to play back to the phone. I could be wrong on that, but either way, um, if all you can do is just hear the 911 operator, that's still a much better thing. And the advantage, of course, is that you don't have a phone up to your hand, so you got both hands free, and you're not doing this, and you're going to have less ability to hear if you've got this sort of stuck in there. So... I think these are a really good option. I bought these because they talked a good game when they were selling them, and I haven't been disappointed. So this review is really, as I mentioned, I'm not making anything off of this other than the YouTube things, and typically review videos do not very well. So I'm making this video because I really really like these and i kind of wanted to share that with you guys and also again to remind you of the importance of hearing protection it is really important um please if you get nothing else out of this wear hearing protection whether it's this or something else if it's just you know uh construction site ear defenders wear them it's it's important I will probably do a video on eye protection if I find um, if I find an eye protection solution I really like. I haven't so far. Um, I've got some solutions that I that work but are not fantastic. But I'm still kind of on the lookout for something that I really love, and um, that's partially because although I don't use it when I'm sitting at the computer. Um, I wear glasses, so there's lots of great, cool-looking options out there that don't come for, that don't come in prescription lenses, which makes them not awesome for me. But um, if you've got any recommendations, comment section, please, because I'm still looking. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this to be interesting and educational, and I hope maybe it's inspired some of you to go, oh right. I need to worry about my hearing protection. Um, just, I guess, one more point on that. 300 bucks. Expensive. But less expensive than a gun. Uh, most of your guns are probably going to be more than 300 bucks. And this works with every gun you own. It's not even like, you know, you're going to spend more than 300 bucks on a scope, most likely. And that scope is getting mounted to one gun and it's staying there probably for the entire time you own that gun. This works with every gun you own. And it also works in other scenarios. As I mentioned, the airplane, um, various other places you might think that this is a good idea. So um, I will probably try it at some point at a concert just to see if it helps attenuate the noise because I like going to concerts, but 
I often find them to be too loud. I'm worried that I'm going to be causing hearing damage. I know this makes me a total nerd, but as I said, my hearing is important. So, yeah. Um, spend the money. <laughs> get good hearing protection, but if you can't get really great hearing protection, just get something. Um, something that is properly rated and so forth. All right. I also want to thank my Patreon supporters at the $50 level. Purple Dragonair, Cielo, CCFR, PJs Forever, Canada's National Firearms Association, and the Canadian Shooting Sports Association. And at the $20 level, Lindsay Metcalf, Larry Kalniak, Kyle Fox, Drunk All of the Baileys, Cameron Johnson, Andrew Elzich, Vicky, and Dorky Dane. Thank you as well to my $10 supporters who will be in the crawl immediately following. Thank you for watching. Hope this is armed with knowledge. See you next time.